Okay, uh, this is week three uh, tutorial recordings. Uh, we have uh, six tutorial questions, so we are going to go through them one by one. Uh, question one. Imagine the market for hamburgers is unregulated. That is, hamburger prices are free to adjust based on the forces of supply and demand. So if there is a shortage exists in the market, then the current price must. If, the, if there is a shortage, so that means there are more demand than supply. So the current price must must be lower than the equipment price because the lower prices people are going to demand more hamburgers which and the, and the suppliers are going to supply fewer hamburgers that create a shortage and you you would expect um, buyers to over because now there are more as uh, consumers who are waiting to buy this hamburger, so buyers are going to offer higher w prices. Okay, that's question one. Question two. Shift in demand or supply. The following graph shows the market for cereal in Adelaide, where there are more than 1,000 shops that sell cereals at any given moment. Imagine, imagine the municipal government sharply increases local tax, making it significantly more expensive to reside in Adelaide. Many residents decide to leave the city altogether for areas with lower local tax. Show the effect of the change by shifting the one or both of the curves on the following graph. So now, orange curve is supply, blue curve is demand. And we know that due to the local taxes, uh, residents will leave uh, the city so which means which means at any at any prices level we have fewer residents to buy uh, cereals so this this demand curve will shift to the left so at any price level because some many residents leave the areas um, leave the city so fewer number of consumers so the demand uh, becomes smaller at any price level which means uh, the demand curve shift to the left okay so that's question two question three Market equilibrium. The following table shows the supply and demand in the market for bottled water in Adelaide. So we are we are giving this uh, uh, table of data. On the following graph, plot the demand for bottled water using the blue blue points, and then plot the supply of bottled water using the orange points. Okay, so let's f let's look at a uh, demand curve first. So if the price is one bottle, demand will be twenty two hundred. So one dollar demand will be twenty two hundred. This one. If price is two dollar, demand will be sixteen hundred. Two dollar, demand will be sixteen hundred. 
if price is three dollar demand will be twelve hundred if price is four dollar demand will be one thousand okay if price is five dollar demand will be six hundred four dollar one thousand okay so let's demand curve uh, this is not very straight uh, anyway one dollar twelve hundred two dollar sixteen hundred three dollar uh, twelve hundred four dollar one thousand one dollar six hundred okay so that's a uh, demand curve um supply curve then if price is one supply is four hundred if it is two one thousand If it is um, three eighteen hundred, if it is um, four two thousand, if it is five twenty four hundred. Okay, so let's let's let supply as demand. The equilibrium is the intersection point, so you can read it from from the diagram that in the market for bottled water, equilibrium price is two dollar fifty cents. Equilibrium quantity is this one is fourteen hundred bottle. Okay, let's question three. Question four. The variety of demand curves. Consider the four demand curves shown on the diagram. So we have LL, MM, NN, OO. These four lines intersect as point A. So this is point A. Between point A and point E. So between point A and point E, so this is straight a vertical line. Curve O is perfectly inelastic because from A to E, no matter what price from A to E price increases, but the quantity of demand does not change. So the quantity of demand is not responding to the price change. So this is so this curve is perfectly and elastic. Between point A and point D, curve N N is inelastic. From A to D is quite it is quite steep, so we can think it's inelastic. You can actually calculate. So from A to D, price is decreased by. Okay, from A to D, price decreased by changing from 100 to 80, so decreased by 20%. However, a price increased by 20% from A to D, price increased by 20%. However, however, the quantity decreased. A quantity. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me repeat. From A to D, the price 
uh, increased by 30%, increased from 100 to 130, so increased by 30%. However, the quantity only decreased by from 100 to 80, so which is 20%, so it's less than 30%. So this is inelastic, yes, this is less than 1. Okay, that's question four. Question five. Demand basic concepts. Uh, complete, complete the following table by determining uh, which terms correspond to each te definition. A. A graph showing the relationship between the price of a good and the amount that buyers are willing to are willing and able to purchase at a variety of price. So this is a demand curve. So the relationship, so it's a graph that tells the relationship between the price and quantity holding everything else constant. A table showing the relationship between the price of a good and the amount that buyers are willing and able to purchase at a variety of a variety of price. So the difference of this one between between this one and the previous one is this one is a table, previous one, previous one is a graph. So if this table we call it demand schedule. The amount of a good that buyers are willing and able to purchase at a given price. So at only a given price. So we the amount we call this quantity demanded. Uh, the claim that with other things being equal, the quantity demanded of goods falls when the price of that goods rises. This is lower demand. The higher the price, the lower the demand. The lower the price, the higher the demand. Um, apply your understanding of these key terms by completing the following scenario with the appropriate terminology. Your friend Sen struggles with understanding the graphs. He shows you the following graph and asks you for your help in interpreting, interpreting it. You recognize that this graph as this is a demand curve. Demand curve. This graph is a demand curve. When Sen asks you which value represents the quantity of toothpaste at the price of three dollars per toothpaste? You tell you tell him the value is represented by the letter. That means so it's if it's three dollar, three dollar is three dollars, and the quantity amount is this. This is the vertical axis price horizontal is quantity. So if it's three dollar. Then quantity go from this three to the demand curve. Then goes down. You get x. So, so that's x. Okay. So that's uh, question five. Question six. Individual and the market demand. Imagine Sun and Stella are the only consumers of collectible action figures in a particular market. The following table shows the demand schedules. So we have the demand here. On the following graph, plot Stella's demand and Sun's demand and then plot market demand. So the market now only consists of two persons, Stella and Sen. So let's look at Stella. So if price is two, Stella want to buy 25. If price is four, 20. If price is six, 15.
if price is uh, 8, 10. If price is uh, 10, stay up by nothing. Okay, then since demand uh, curve, if price is 2, he's willing to buy 35. And if price is 4, 30, 6, 20. Uh, 8, 15 uh, 10, 10 Okay, then the market demand So if price is 2 The market demand is the demand of The quantity demand of state R plus quantity demand of cent So it's 24 R plus 34 R So it's 60 If price is 4, it's 50. If price is 6, 35. If price is 8, 25. Twenty-five. If price is 10, it's 10. Okay, so let's um, question six. Okay, this is all about week three tutorials.